So, I'm going to show you some things that will make using Gab more enjoyable and how to get around the fact that Apple removed the Gab app from the App Store. So, you no longer can get the Gab app um, on many uh, smartphones. So, but watch this little trick. Let's go ahead and open Safari. So, unlike MeWe, Gab actually has a web page that lets you run everything uh, just like normal. So let's just start off new. I'm going to type in gab.com. So welcome to Gab. Now here's what you do. The very bottom of the browser, there's a blue box with the arrow protruding upwards. You should click on that. That's like your share button. Click on the share button. And then we're going to decide how we're going to share it. We're going to share it to our home screen. That's going to put it on the home screen of our iPhone. Basically, all that is is a shortcut. It's an HTML file shortcut to this web page in Safari. There it is. All its information required is the name you want it and the link. And we're going to call it Gab Social. And then we're going to add it to our home screen. Now in the upper left we have our Gab Social. It's been added to our home screen. Let's go ahead and open it. Alright, so all the Safari stuff is now gone and it is operating just like it's an independent app. It actually knows how to hijack Safari to project this the Gab structure as an independent app style interface. So let's let's uh, show you what I'm talking about. So you see here we have Safari and then we have Gab. You know all other web pages will open in Safari but not this one. Their web designers have been very smart and figured out how to hijack into the Safari uh, infrastructure to get you a you know a completely different experience than if you were using Safari by itself. So here you go. Very simple. Doesn't take any data from your phone. You don't have to download a three or four hundred megabyte Facebook app, but you get every single thing that you know a Facebook style app offers you, all without having to download anything that might potentially be gathering information on you. So there you have it. Next time you want to use Gab, don't open it from Safari, open it from the shortcut and you'll have an independent screen that lets you uh, browse just like using the Facebook app.